Hi Rafikis, Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I'm Itindi Jacobs. If you're joining me for the first time, I do videos on home take or home organization and the occasional lifestyle video. A warm welcome to all of you. I'm so happy that you're here to join me today. And I thought I'd start off my 2021 by doing a home take or haul. I'm just going to be showing you guys what I've been able to collect over the last couple of months since I did my last home deco haul. And I'll be showing you how I'm styling it, how I'm using it in and around my house. And yeah, then we can take it from there as usual i'm going to link everything in the description box below and those items are not able to find just keep your ear open for where i've purchased the items from but most of the stuff is local and quite easy to get and accessible okay so i'm going to start by showing you some of the items that i purchased for the kitchen i'm so excited about these you may have seen some of these items in my last video not my last video but the video that i did for my christmas deco i think that was my last video where i showed you guys my tablescape so i'm just going to show you guys those items up close so that you can see what they look like and where i purchased them from but let me start with my latest purchase. I actually purchased these yesterday. So these are gorgeous ribbed. These are so 1960s. They're giving me mid-century vibes, definitely. So these are very 1960s. I got these from Poetry yesterday. It was $60 for one. And what I like about them is definitely that ribbed effect there. I really, really love that. And it goes with some other stuff that I'll show you right now. And these come in three sizes. So I took the middle size. It comes in a smaller glass, which is, I think, a shot or a tot glass. And then a bigger one, which you'd probably use like as a water tumbler. So these i actually had these i made use of these yesterday to drink a gin and tonic and i really like how dainty they are the ribbed effect and just it's, it's just really nice it's something quirky it's i don't have anything like this in my kitchen and i think it's a really good addition to my glassware and i can't wait to have these out when i have got some guests over so this uh, new glassware i got this from poetry to complement those and they are completely from different places these are ribbed uh, plates, ripped bowls. These I purchased from Mr. Price Home. And you'll have seen this in my last video, like I mentioned in my Christmas video. And this is also the same ribbing effect. Very 1960s, 1970s. I really like them. They look so vintage. They're cute. They're pretty. Really, really loving this uh, ribbed hole effect. And I've got these. I'm using them uh, for my dinner uh, as a soup bowl. I can also put a salad or I can use it as a poke bowl. So really loving these. And I bought those as a, a set with these dinner plates so these this is also from mr price home also got that ribbon detail which i really love and it actually looks like a charger plate but it's a dinner plate and i have these in sixes so i use these for christmas dinner and they were really a big hit and i purchased this from mr price home i can't remember the exact price for this but they weren't more than a hundred dollars i think maybe eighty dollars per plate which i think is quite reasonable because it's really a good quality it's a really good quality glass and the detail for me is really spot on Okay, another item I purchased for my kitchen is this. So this is a crystal lemon... I can't remember the correct name for this, but it's a crystal lemon uh, juicer, I think, juicer. So you'd put your lemon in there and then you're the juice basically collect in there and then you pour it in. It's got a little spout over here, which I really like. So I had the wooden one, the one that you just put there, but I, I thought this was really cute because it collects the juice and then you're able to just pour it into the holder that you're going to be using to have that in. Uh, I think it's really cute. Again, I love the whole glass thing. It's also giving me some vintage vibes and I just think it's a really nice addition to my kitchen right? these i just stumbled on from poetry again poetry is really really good guys for homewares they've got some amazing stuff there so i purchased these about a month ago and they've got that marble detail there and then with the gold with a with a with the breast detail i really love that i think it's so special so i've been needing some serving spoons i i did a purge last time uh, i think a couple of months ago and i i threw out not threw out but i purged a lot of my 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 sorry guys my slip is falling off i purged a lot of my of my dishware of my serving wear and i didn't have enough so i was really in need for these so i purchased these from there i think there are about 385 let me just confirm that I've got the box over here. Okay, there were actually 350. There were 350 and they came in this gorgeous box. So it's also really a nice gift idea if you're gifting someone. You can also get this. They came in this box and they are from Poetry. And I really can't wait to use them. Look at how cute they are. Such a statement piece. Really, really love these. So my next item, this is a little cow, um, 
milk cow dispenser uh jug milk uh, milk jug uh, i saw this on my friend our good a good family friend of ours tebe ikala thing i saw him on his profile and he was having pup and he had his milk in here and i was like tebe i need that i need that and he said he was gonna bring me one but i managed to stumble on this uh and then i bought it so you basically pour your milk in here and then it's got a little sprout over here and you pour it i just think it's you know for me i'm always looking i'm always on the lookout for these uh interesting uh quirky kitchenware houseware kind of stuff i i like interesting conversation pieces you know i like stuff that someone is going to look at and they're going to be like oh wow what's that or what do you use it for where did you buy it so this was really nice for me i could only get one of them i would have liked to get at least four but let's say i'm having cornflakes in the morning or i'm having uh tea or coffee then you put the milk in here it's just fun even my son really likes it when i bring this out uh i got this from vegan Fuchs, the one at grove mall is it vegan Fuchs? Yes, they can folks, uh, they've got like a pop-up shop at Grove Mall. So I purchased this there. Can't remember how it how much it was. Maybe two fifty. I was it two fifty? Yeah, it was around about there and it's from the brand Cilio. So yeah, I really like this for my milk. Okay, so that's it for my stuff, for my kitchen stuff. I'm now going to move over to the stuff that I'm using in my lounge and dining room. I'll start with this gorgeous candle. So this you may have seen around this i got from mr price home it's an oversized candle it's really huge i can't see what size it is they didn't wait it might be over here uh, it's an old old perfume candle they didn't indicate how big it is but it's really big i don't know this is maybe i don't know okay not it's, uh, sure i don't know but it's huge uh, let me see. Let me do a head uh, test. You can see how big it means. Uh, actually, I, I would say almost the same size as my head. So it's pretty. It's pretty large, and I love that it's black. I love the rose gold detail here on the label, and it's just. It's really nice to have. I keep it on my console table, my credenza. I bought a couple of them. I haven't burned it yet, but uh, I really like the size of it. The scale for me is really what sold me on this piece. And I haven't, I'm actually going to burn it soon. Or maybe when we have some guests over or maybe one of these days, I'll just burn it to enjoy it. Okay. This is the second item under that area. This is a watering can that I purchased from at home. This is completely brass. It's made in India. I think I bought this for 800 and no, not 800, sorry, for 430, I think. 430, I think, yeah, somewhere around there. It was 400 and something. And I really like it. It's cute. I love the color. Again, aesthetics. Uh, it just makes it, it, it just makes when I'm watering my plants in the house, it just, I'm just more. Uh, inspired to do some more motivated to water them because I'm watering them out of something that's really cute. I mean, look at that. That's really cute. And you can also use it as like a decor piece if you put it somewhere, you know, that makes sense. It can really look nice. So that I purchased from at home and I'll, I'll try and insert some videos of how I'm using all of these items, some videos and some The next item, and I've purchased a lot from Mr. Price Home lately. Hey? They've had some really amazing stuff. So the next item I'm going to show you guys is the sculpture. This is a contemplative sculpture that I purchased from at home. I know from Mr. Price Home. And she's really cute. Hey? I look at her and I'm always wondering, what is she thinking? <laughs> so it's completely white. And I don't know what material this is. I don't know, maybe porcelain. It's handmade. It didn't indicate what, but it, I, I think it's porcelain and uh, i have it on my kitchen shelves uh we have got like a whole white scape uh, white scape thing going and it looks really nice and i would also i can move this around i can put it in my bathroom uh, it's just really nice to look at it's cute and it wasn't expensive i think i paid 100 and not more than 180 for this mr price home so i really like this it's cute My next item are these. I purchased these. These are three. I have these. I have three of these. So these are straw cushions. You can see there. You can see the beautiful detail. They don't open, so they come. 
like sealed and i have three of these i purchased them from a store if you guys can see over there in the corner there by my day bed okay you can see how i've styled them so i've got three of these i purchased them from a company in stockholm called mirror mirror when we're on vacation and i just stumbled upon this shop it's got this really amazing stuff so these are hand woven and they've got they're stuffed basically the filling of this is a newspaper which i really love it means that they use recyclable materials which i'm all for hey if i can use if i can purchase something that's environmentally friendly and that's something that's uh, you know that's soft on the world and on the environment then i'll definitely do that i just love them i love i mean i've never seen anything like this it was my first time coming across something like this and i just thought it was the most interesting thing and of course you can't sleep on them they're not going to be comfortable to sleep on but for me it's just uh, for styling purposes i've got them on my day bed and they're just ah this flies they're just there as a nice statement piece conversation starter i've got a nice story to tell about these and yeah, so I purchased these. I think uh, they were 250 each, which I thought was ridiculous. I thought they were so cheap. 250 for some of those handmade guys. That's a lot of work that went into making this, you know? Someone's energy and time that went into this. So 250 was a really good price. And the lady actually gave them to me for 180. So I was really lucky about that. She gave them to me for much cheaper. I would have paid much more, even up to $500 for this, just because it's of the quality, the fact that it's hand woven and the fact that it's a natural product. I really, really appreciate. So these are really cute. And these are from Mirror Mirror and I'll insert a video on how I've styled that. So the next items I wanted to show you guys are these coffee table books that I just recently purchased. The first one is this home body. I've been wanting to get this book for such a long time. I was always just waiting for the price to go down and I got this. It's called Home Body. It's by Joanna Gaines and I'm busy studying this. It's actually on my bedside table. You can see I've got my bookmarker in there. Um, I'm just learning so much from this book and I love that it's so easy to read and the images in here are stunning, really, really stunning and i'm really enjoying this uh for me coffee table books are not just meant to be presented on the table hey i actually take time to read this because you do pay a lot of money for coffee table books and uh i make sure that i get all the information that i can and just you know um make use of that information on my projects i've got a couple of projects lined up for this year which has been quite a blessing yeah this interior styling thing has just taken a life of its own and i'm just making sure that i'm staying updated to the latest trends learning as much as i can so that i can you know in turn you know show that in my work and in my presentations and i'm really excited about implementing everything that i've learned in this book so this i purchased from amazon i usually purchase my coffee table books from amazon and i'm also selling some of them from caribou flowers now so i'll also put down a link for the chanel coffee table book as well as the tom ford coffee table book uh, i'll link those in the description box if you're interested in purchasing those but this is my latest one and i really really love it and uh, once the sleeve gets old what i actually like to do sometimes is i usually take off the sleeve entirely and then i've got this solid gray which i think is actually more aesthetically pleasing and actually will work better in my space so when i'm decorating with it maybe on that shelf there that you see there i probably have it like this as opposed to with it on its uh with its sleeve on so that's just something to keep in mind you don't always have to keep the sleeve on you can actually take it off sometimes and it actually looks better for styling purposes the other coffee table book that I just purchased is this AD Architectural Digest. Ooh, I don't know who missed this. I want to blame Komani, but I don't think he got access to this. I think I may have scratched it with something that I put on top. But this is basically how it looks like. I need to clean that up. Sorry for that mess, guys. You see that this is really thick. It's almost as thick as my Tom Ford uh, coffee table book. And I can't wait to dive into this. I first want to finish the other one. Then I'll be getting into this one. And it's just basically a picture of some of the most impeccable homes that Architectural Digest has sampled in their 100 years. And I'm really, really looking forward to 
getting into this i love the brown also easy to style i've actually styled it right now on my credenza and i've got a wooden bowl on top of this and yeah these are really great for not only styling but also reading guys make sure that you're getting the full worth out of your money because these books are not cheap so you don't want to just buy something for the sake of using it to decorate you also want to make full use of it it must be functional so make sure that you read and learn and you know do what you got to do Next, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the vessels that I've purchased recently. Wait, before we get to the vessels, let me show you guys my horse. So this is a horse sculpture. This is very restoration hardware vibes. So I got this to Mr. Price home and I've got this on a plinth. I love how architectural it is. And I've actually got this in black as well. The black ones I've got at Caribou Flowers, at Caribou Home at our studio. And this was 399. I will insert a video, no, an image of how I've styled it, but I really liked it because of the color. It's easy to style. Also the scale, it's really big. You can see how substantial it is. And yeah, I've seen it. It's really, this is very popular in terms of interior decor right now. Everyone's got them, the restoration hardware tubes anyway from home goods. And I was really pleasantly surprised to see that Mr. Price had this. So Mr. Price is right on the ball, guys. They are really taking home decor to the next level. I mean, in terms of what people are doing in America, we've also got it here. So it's really nice. Mr. Price home is really doing the most. So really happy about that one. Next, I wanted to show you guys my vessels, all the vessels I've been picking up lately. This is a vessel I purchased from Mr. Price Home also. Also quite big. You can see how big it is compared to my head. I love the amber color. This was 399 and I'll insert a picture of how I use this. So I purchased this um, primarily because I had these. So mm, my latest craze. So there's always something that I'm going crazy about. So this week, this month, it's been um, dates, like the date fruit, you know, like the dates the date fruit the one that hangs those orange ones so i saw that styled in a magazine and i was like "Ooh, i need that so and i've basically been using those date fruit branches as a centerpiece instead of flowers i've been using those and i needed a nice large vase to just uh, have that in so i picked this up from mr price for that purpose and i'll show you guys how that looks like it looks really really cool uh, i love that it's amber so this is really a timeless color it also fits well with the rest of my interiors with the rest of my aesthetic and it's just a nice size I can put flowers in there, I can put branches in there. I think I can use it for many stuff. And it's always good to have a good variety uh, in terms of sizing for your vases because sometimes you get really big arrangements and smaller ones. So you wanna have uh, different sized vases for every type of floral arrangement or uh, centerpiece or whatever. So I really like that one. Okay, into, I'm moving on to another vessel. Just give me a second to get that, guys. This is a wooden, I need to move back. This is a wooden bowl. Uh, this is a vintage wooden bowl. This is from India. I'm not so sure how old it is, but it is vintage. So um, I'm guessing, I don't know. I don't know, eh? But I know that a lot of the wooden uh, um, antique and vintage stuff we have in our home is 150, 100 to 150 plus years. So I'm thinking this is around about the same uh, age and it's got these iron legs at the bottom which have been fixed to it. I really love this. I saw this and I fell in love with it immediately. I bought this from a place called Creative. And this is uh, Creative, Creative Fit. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Creative Fit, I think. And they are based in Prosperity, just opposite uh, FNB. They've got this wide variety of antique furniture. Really, really beautiful. I also purchased my day bed from there. Let me just tilt the camera so you can see that. You see? A day bed over there that's also from there i've got two of those we've got one there under the stairs and then we've got one that's outside and really really beautiful stuff from india really well made vintage everything there tells a story and so i purchased this from there i think it was a thousand six hundred dollars and i've just held it on my credenza uh, you can use it to put some fruits in there uh, i'm not using it to display anything so i'm just having it as a display on its own and i love it you can see it's really good quality wood i'm not sure if it's 
mango or teak wood i'm not really familiar with the woods i still need to learn about that but it's a good quality product you can definitely tell you can see the patina on there and i just think it's one of those pieces that i'm going to be able to pass on to my children something that's going to become like a family heirloom that we're going to keep passing on from generation to generation and yeah it's just something that's not going to get dated i mean if it's been around here for 100 years plus you can definitely tell that it's one of those things that are transitional and that are timeless so i've really been taking some time to invest in good vintage quality products and making my house just uh, just give my house a little bit of my homeware and my decor just a little bit of that more character you don't want everything so modern you want to mix and match it and i've really been having a lot of time a lot of fun time a lot of a really good time doing that just mixing the old to the new just to add some characteristic and some flavor to my home uh the last thing i wanted to show you guys is also very similar to that it's a parrot let me just get it it's a bit heavy so this is the last thing I wanted to show you guys. This is a parat, also very similar to what I just showed you, the wooden bowl. So this parat, it's called a parat. It's also basically a wooden bowl with this handle. And I purchased this from my usual vintage store. Um, what are they called again? Mm. I forgot what they're called i'll remember and i'll put it in the description box and also this is vintage again very old uh, beautiful wood uh, nice light wood but uh, beautiful i'm using it for my fruits currently as you can see i've got tons of fruits in there and i love the patina on there you can see how aged it is you can imagine the places that this thing has been to, hey? <laughs> but yeah, so that was the last item that I wanted to show you guys. I hope you were able to get some ideas or just some inspiration if you're going to be nice, uh, shopping for some home decor wear. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, let me know if there's anything you need some clarity on and I'm always happy to respond to you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching as usual. I appreciate you. Mwah.